Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, just going to give you another quick tutorial on extracting MIDI from audio. Uh, had a question about this, uh, so I just thought I'd give you a quick example of, of how to do it and possibly uh, re go over creating a groove quantize. So, um, really quick, um, I'm just going to import um, an audio loop. <clears throat> now, what I'd like to do is make sure that this is bounced down. Let's say you've cut it up, you've added some bits. So all I'd do would be to select the whole part, audio, bounce selection, replace. Uh, if you don't do that, when you double click it, it won't go to the audio editor. So we double click uh, <clears throat> and it opens the audio editor. We click on very audio. We would then pitch and warp and then using the functions we would extract MIDI. Now what this does uh, brings up this little screen destination is the first selected track uh, it allows us to select a pitch bend range and and we're going to extract notes and static pitch bend data so we'll just click OK and what it does is it bounces it down onto a, a MIDI track underneath and there's your MIDI data. Now one thing I would say is it's not exactly perfect so if we initially listen to the loop as you can hear there each section of that each bar of that is is pretty much identical unfortunately the MIDI isn't quite that good um, so here's the MIDI I'm gonna play it back um, selected psi length and I've created um, just like a little woodblock noise similar to what the, the sample is So you can see there, actually, bar two, uh, two to three, is pretty much it's pretty much got every note. So what we could do would be to just copy that over, and there you go. Uh, that's it. That's that's a quick way of extracting MIDI from audio. You know, works great with bass lines, percussive noises, um, you know, quite simple. I wouldn't try and do anything too complicated. Although, saying that, you do get some quite interesting results. Um, so it's worth actually just possibly messing about. So, and as I was saying before with regards to quantizing audio, <clears throat> similar sort of thing, double click it. Uh, let's get rid of pitch and what We actually go to hit points select the sensitivity and what we would do there is move the sensitivity until it's pretty much got every little beat there we go then what we can do is make groove now if I make groove just click that instantly it's put it in my quantize menu as per loop and there you go so we we've now got that um, MIDI quantize uh, preset that we can apply to um, audio or MIDI. In fact, let's bring that MIDI back in. Let's glue all that. So, and there's our MIDI. If we select it all, and what we can do is select perk loop MIDI. So here we go, select our perk loop, apply quantize, and there you go, it's actually quantized them uh, in accordance with the original audio. So And there you go, simple as that. So don't forget, if you've got any questions, drop me a line and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Until next time, take care.